I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is the work never ends. So throughout most of my life, my go-to strategy when I had a lot to do was to roll up my sleeves, hunker down, and work until the job was over. And this is certainly a useful strategy to cultivate in one's life. Some people need to learn how to do this. And it's appropriate under certain situations. However, there came a point in my life, I was in grad school at the time, when the inflow of new work surpassed my ability to discharge it. So when I rolled up my sleeves and hunkered down, I worked, and I worked, and I worked, and I worked. So I rolled my sleeves even higher up, and I hunkered down even lower, and I worked, and I worked, and I worked, and the end was still nowhere in sight. I had never seen this before, and I burned myself out in a really serious way. The problem was that I was using the wrong tool for the job. Rolling up your sleeves and hunkering down works when you have a finite amount of work to do. However, if you're at all successful in life, you will reach a point where the influx of new tasks completely overtakes your ability to discharge those responsibilities. It's just how it is. People respond to that point in different ways. Some will get help and delegate. Others will restrict the pipeline and distance themselves from the responsibility. My attitude is somewhat different. I've just sort of adopted the attitude that the work never ends. So my job is not to finish the work. My job is to work for the time that I've assigned to working and to stop working when that time is finished. I stop when I'm done, not when the work is done, because the work is never done. My mental image of work is carrying a bucket of water. At the start of my, my day, I pick that bucket up, I carry it for a time, and at the end of my day, I put that bucket down. And tomorrow, I'll pick up that bucket and carry it a little further down the road. The day will not arrive when I get to pour out the water. So I'm not laboring under the illusion that one day the water will be delivered. In fact, that bucket will likely need to be carried long after I'm gone. When I can't pick up the bucket anymore, someone else will pick it up and carry it a bit further down the road. And when he can't pick up the bucket, someone else will take up the load and so on. I'm a therapist. It might be strange to hear, but I'm not working for the day when all people are healed and all neuroses are banished and all trauma is reconciled, and everyone is content with their lives and satisfied with their relationships, that will never happen. These problems are made new each day and with each passing generation. The work never ends. So my job is not to arrive at the end of the work. That attitude just leads to burnout because it is practically impossible. My work is to work for a time, helping the people that I can, until I put the bucket down. What do you think? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychaxpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.